CataractCoach.com, Acute Angle Closure Glaucoma, How to Urgently Fix This and Restore Vision to the Patient. It's a tough case. So pre-op, 30 days with a pressure of 60 LP vision, acute angle closure. Here's that really hot eye. Wow, opaque looking cornea, iris not even visible. You can see how much um, inflammation there is, how red that conge is. Vessels and gorge, very hyperemic. Here comes making the main incision here. So this patient obviously has a problem of angle closure, an anatomic issue. You really can't do any peripheral erotomy. There's no view of the iris, even it's all stuck up in the angle. So here, surgeon ends up going inside the eye with the keratome and then even pierces the lens caps a little bit. And now spreading out some tripan blue dye to see what we've got here. And again, visualization is tough. So what happened to the capsule? So here we go, kind of just uh, injecting viscoelastic there and lifting that capsule up. There's like an edge of the capsule. And so kind of having a flap that the capsule appears like just to access this cataract. And so now you got to move the cataract. Again, visualization is poor. Rocking the nucleus back and forth. I like that. I mean, this is quite a challenge. Now, the surgeon here is a very renowned surgeon. That's Professor Ramesh Ayala, who's the chairman of the University of South Florida in Tampa. And this is really a tough case. This is a fun one to watch because it's obviously going to be a challenge. So here, just trying to rock that nucleus around. If you do higher dissection, again, you can try. Just hard to see. You don't know where the capsule is exactly. And you certainly have a very poor view from that cornea. So need to get this cataract out. And then once the cataract is phacoed and removed from the eye, maybe we can try to break some of those um, angle sneakye and loosen up that iris. Let's see if we can restore some vision here. Now you may be wondering, with the pressure that high for so long in LP vision, is there any visual potential? Well, you can check for like a reverse APD in the other eye, but it's very difficult to kind of see or determine, evaluate what's that optic nerve like in this eye. So look at this technique, viscoelastic, get the nucleus up. I love that idea. That's fantastic. So kind of envelope style for the capsule, if you go to lift that up. And now the nucleus is tilted up. Here comes a phaco probe. It's going to be short work. And so, yeah, we sped the video up a little bit just so we can be efficient here. That big blue flap is the capsule flap, which you can amputate at the end. Of the end. Just be careful not to grab with the phaco probe now. And so again, tilting that nucleus up. View's not great, but it's enough of a view for Professor here to get the case done. And so again, use a good use of the chopper there with a the ball tip even to be safe. Oop, I think the capsule amputated itself and is gone now, the ca anterior capsule rim. Or anterior capsule flap, the rim is still intact. And now here we go, removing the rest of the nucleus. Hey, did I tell you about Cataract Coach Podcast? An amazing podcast. You will learn so much every time you listen to that podcast. Our sole purpose is to teach you the secrets to a more successful career. Check it out everywhere where you find your podcast. Now, back to the rest of the nucleus removal. You can see just using that chopper to feed it into the probe. I like how the probe's kind of staying at iris plane. You certainly don't want to risk a broken capsule. And again, the visualization here is quite poor due to the edematous cornea. Now, removing most of it, there you go. Probably putting in more viscoelastic behind the nucleus and in front of the nucleus. Protect the cornea, protect the bag. I like it, I like it. Back with the phaco probe. Viscoelastic, we know, is cheaper than vitreous. It's also cheaper than corn endothelial cells, so use as much OVD as you desire. So taking out that last bit of nucleus and then going to clean up the bag. Now, what do you do for eye well power? Well, listen, it's not really the patient's biggest concern. Is the eye well power is not. So what can you do? I'd put a lens in, measure the other eye, and maybe add a half diopter just to make sure you're, you know, a little bit of a air buffer to land on the side of myopia as opposed to hyperopia. So here comes the lens. It looks like a single piece of acrylic lens. Get that going in the bag. And again, you're saying it's going to be hard to visualize where it goes, but I think you can figure it out. So here comes the lens, nicely done, easy breezy. And then just take your time with that chopper there and dial it into position here. So there it is, the end. Let's remove the viscoelastic. Where is the iris? That's a good question. There's a little bit of iris we can see, maybe. And so what are you going to do? He's going to use the phaco probe for light vacuum and pull the iris out of the angle. Now be very cautious in doing this. You've got to be an expert here. It'll be very clutch. Enough vacuum to grab it, but you don't want to disinsert the iris root. So you can do this for 360. Another way to do it is with the anterior chamber full of viscoelastic. Just use your capsule rexus forceps to grab the iris in all quadrants. So here, gonio sneculysis using IA under light suction. Again, reducing the pressure. Don't use ultra high vacuum here and don't yank so hard that you disinsert the iris from its root. So finishing this up here, this looks just fantastic. 
Happy to say this patient had actually a reasonable outcome. Surprisingly, the optic nerve was not too severely damaged, and the patient came up with a reasonable visual outcome, certainly much better than the light perception vision from before. And even now, more work here, a pupoplasty. Sometimes that iris can become damaged from the chronic angle closure here. And so doing a little pupoplasty with a 10-0, that's just icing on the cake. Post-op pressure 14 looks much better. Thank you for watching. Remember, check out cataractcoach.com, the teaching website. So much great material, especially for residents, and it's all free.